all of life comes to us for these are joy and glory. All of life comes to us for these are joy and glory. All of life comes to us for these are joy and glory. All of life comes to us for these are joy and glory. All of life comes to us for these are joy and glory. All of life comes to us for these are joy and glory. All of life comes to us for these joy and glory. All of life comes to us for these and joy and glory. All of life comes to us for these and joy and glory. All of life comes to us for these joy and glory. All of life. All of life. Comes to us with these enjoying glory. I'm choosing consciousness and consciousness has my back. I'm choosing consciousness and consciousness has my I'm back. I'm choosing consciousness and consciousness has my back. Yes. And how can I be greater today than I was yesterday? How can I be greater today than I was yesterday? Just for today, I'll be greater than I was yesterday. Just for today, I'll be greater than I was yesterday. And how can today be greater than it was yesterday? How can today be greater than it was? Or what would it take for today to be greater than yesterday? What would it take for today to be greater than yesterday? Oh, and this one here as well, which is, where is it? Let me just get this one. This one here, I've been asking this. What choice can I make today to generate and create money now and into the future? What choice can I make today to generate and create money now and into the future? What choice can I make today to generate and create money now and into the future? Okay, so is there anything in, in particular anybody wants to ask for? Because when we go, when we do our expand, that's the place when we're really, really expanded, that's the place to really ask for more of anything at all. I'd still like, <clears throat> like to ask for a house for my sister to live in. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, let's ask for that. All right. Okay, so just take your time now and just connect in with your body. Connect in with every molecule of your body. From your toes, right up through your legs, through your genitals, up your body, through your breasts, arms and your fingers, up through your neck and shoulders, or your shoulders and your neck, into your, ha into your head, your face and nose and your sinuses and your brain. Out your arms and into your fingers. And now expand your being out past your body and fill the room that you're in. Go out past the room that you're in, into your house, fill your house up. Keep expanding. Take the energy of who you be as an acoustical infinite being. Go right out into the universe, 100,000 Ks in all directions and more. Let's get that on that. Yes, we're zooming. Keep going. Push down the walls and barriers. Lower the walls and barriers and keep pushing them down. Look to those walls and barriers. Down you go, barriers. Allow yourself to be the vulnerable being that you be. No barriers and no protection. What if the greatest protection you could have was your awareness? And what if you were more aware when you had no barriers?
what would you like to choose today that would create and generate money now and into the future? That you don't even know. And you can ask for things for your friends and for people. So what would it take to find a really gorgeous home for Barbara's sister? And let's start pulling energy from all the molecules in the universe. Pull them and pull them. And also start pulling Barb a, a house. Pull the house into your sister. But you can pull it to you as well. What would it take for that house to show up with total ease, joy and glory? A lovely home with ease, joy and glory. And acknowledge to you that you are an amazing humanoid. And let's have gratitude for ourselves, the beings that we be. Let's just flow that energy of gratitude over you and your body and your being. Flow that energy of gratitude all over your bank accounts. No matter how much money is in there, whether it's a little or a lot or huge amounts, just have gratitude for all that money that's there and all the money that's not in your bank account. And let me remind you to destroy and uncreate your relationship with money. And destroy and uncreate your whole life. Right, wrong, good, bad, proper, all nine, short, worthy, me, arms. And destroy and uncreate your relationship with your family, your sisters, your brothers, your mothers, your fathers, your kids, your children. And you can name each one of them. And I do each one individually. I destroy and uncreate my relationship with. Right, wrong, good, bad, proper, all nine, shorts, one, yawn. Hold on, let's. And let's destroy and uncreate your relationship with yourself. Right, wrong, good, bad, proper, all nine, shorts, boys and beyonds. Welcome, Robin. Oh, Rocco, I still didn't get in here. What would it take for her internet to work? What would it take for Robin's internet to work? Now keep expanded right out, out into the universe. Start pulling energy from everyone, everything, all the molecules. And you don't have to know how you're doing that. Just pull them, pull the energy through to you, into your universe and through your universe. Be connected with all the molecules on the earth and in the planet. Pull the molecules, pull the energy from all the molecules in your house. And what energy would you like to add to the molecules in your house? There's a new energy called commerce, which is an energy of social interaction and connection. So let's add the energy of commerce. Let's add the energy of commerce to your business and your life. So when I talk about business and access, we say business is your life and life is your business. Mm -hmm. So how many choices? I want to run this process and if anyone else wants anything they want to run, just let me know. You can open up your eyes and just keep expanded and just remind yourself all day long. And Kim was just saying to me what she's noticing when she expands her being every day. What are you noticing for me? Well, it was quite funny. Um, like after last Wednesday, 
uh, then I've been expanding myself out each day. And yeah. I'd also started taking spirulina in a smoothie. And I thought initially, oh, gosh, I've got more energy. It must be the spirulina. <laughs> 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 and uh, I'm sure it was great as well. Uh, however, I haven't taken the spirulina for a few days now, and my energy is still really great. Uh, and I've got a new buzz about things. Um, and it seems, it feels like I've got a new program. Something new. Yeah. Enthusiasm for living. Yeah. Who would like to ask for more enthusiasm for living? Yes. <laughs> yes, bring it on. <laughs> So how many choices are you using to create the wrong, the right of this reality is the only choice, the no choice universe you are choosing? So should we destroy and uncreate all that? Yeah. Right, wrong, good, bad, pop, pop, on, shorts, blue, neons. So all the choices that we are making or using to create the right and wrong of this reality is the only choice in the no choice universe you are choosing. Would you destroy and uncreate all those? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just reading out of this wonderful book called A World of Choice and a World of Freedom. And when you realize that every choice you make creates the future you're going to experience, you begin to recognize, oh, this is what choice creates. For example, if you choose to marry somebody, have you made a choice? Yes. What choice did you make? You didn't just choose marriage, you chose a particular life. So what if your choice is the source of creation? It is. Welcome, Rukawai. You're finally here. <coughs> Welcome. How are you, sweetheart? Morina, I'm sensational, what? thank you. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yes. What if your choice is the source of creation? It is. When you get that, you will look at what's being created by your choices. Sorry, when you get that, you will look at what you're creating by your choices. And then if you wish, you can choose something different. What if you were what would happen if you were willing to do that? Choose something, look at what is being created by that choice and ask what can be chosen different. What if you were willing to look at every choice you made for the possibility of what it would create? What if you were willing to ask for every choice you make? What possibilities will I create by this choice? So choice is asking what am I going to create and what's my future going to be based on my choice? I just want to run a couple of processes from here. What choices did you make that created the reality about you and your money you do not desire, like, or are happy with? Everything that is times a gazillion, will you destroy and uncreate those? Yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, pod, pod, all nine, shorts, blue, neons. What choices did you make that created the reality about you and your money you do not desire, like, or are happy with? So everything that brings up times a gazillion, will you please destroy and uncreate it all? Yes. Yeah. Wrong, good, bad, pod, pop, all nine shorts from yawns. So does anybody have any awareness? Okay, that's cool. No, so, I do. Um, it's not an awareness, it's a, like making myself wrong for doing bad investments. Oh, yes, right. <laughs> that's a good one. Okay, so thank you for that, Kimmy. So what if you were willing to waste money? Yeah. So how many of you are willing to waste money? Now, no, it doesn't mean that you deliberately go out and waste money, but I, if you're willing to, to, you know, you've made some investments that didn't go right, oh, well, let's waste that money because then you're not holding on to it and you're not creating the resistance and reaction to it. It allows you to have more money. And also it stops you from making yourself wrong about it. Yeah. But all the judgments you have of yourself, all the bad investments you've made, would you please destroy and uncreate those? Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Bad popcorn and short spoon me on. 
So, yeah, waste the money, honey. Yes, all right, bad investment. Well, they didn't go quite the way we wanted them to. What if we could get more aware when we're making investments and ask more questions? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so if I buy this or if I invest in you, will you make me money? Yeah. So brilliance with money is knowing what you can do with money to create a different reality. Most people are not willing to have that. They're not willing to educate themselves about money. So are you aware, for example, that banking corporations are not there to help you? I think most of us know that. They're there to find ways to take your money. Most people are not willing to look at or make themselves aware of this kind of stuff. So what have you been unwilling to see, do, perceive, know, be, and receive about the choices you made or make that keep you from having everything you desire? So everything that is times a gazillion, will you destroy it and create it, please? Yeah. Right, wrong, good, bad, pop, pop, on, and shorts, with me on. What have you been unwilling to see, do, perceive, know, be, and receive about the choices you make that keep you from having everything you desire? I just got a puppy. Sorry. Oh, no, I'd love to see him, Bridget. Bring him, bring him in. Bring him in. What's his name? Go and get him. What does he know? Bailey. Bailey. Okay, so all of us, let's pull Bailey's energy. Let's pull energy from Bailey. <laughs> what a name. What a Bailey name for a dog. It's My very favorite, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> That's a cool hairdo there you've got. <laughs> Oh. oh, Bailey, you're beautiful. Oh, my God. Is he a family? No, he's a Japanese Spitz. Oh, my God. Hello. He's oh, so fine. So Hello, Thank sweetheart. You. Let's keep pulling energy from him. Fill him up with energy. Are we? But let's pull energy from each other, everybody. Fill each other up with energy. Yes. And connect to each and every one of us and then... Start pulling energy. Keep pulling energy from the planet, from all the molecules, from the forests and the trees, from the oceans, from the fishes in the oceans. Have any of you been watching David Attenborough's latest movie? Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, I want to watch it again, actually. He's amazing. He's like 19. He's still oh, doing all of that. I know. Isn't he gorgeous, man? Why didn't you fall in love with a man like that? <laughs> so lucky to be able to do what you want your whole life and his brother too because he's an actor. Is he really? Richard Ashenberg, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, that and thank you sense. for the recommendation of Scent of a Woman. Enjoyed that. Did you enjoy that? Yeah, yeah. It's quite a transformation of a character. Yeah. It's got a great energy, hasn't it? Yeah. yeah. The energy. That's cool. Okay. Has, anybody else, has anybody else seen that movie, Scent of a Woman? Have you seen it, Bridget? I haven't. Yeah. Um, it's uh, Al Pacino. It's on Netflix. Okay, I'll have a look. Quite a fun movie to watch. <laughs> very great energy. And it's not a true story, but it's a great movie. Good movie. <laughs> Good watch. It's just not your normal old movie. Anybody else got any suggestions for great movies they love to watch? The Secret Garden's on at the movies at the moment, and it's a fabulous remake of the original story. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, a beautiful, beautiful movie, yeah. Oh, thank you, Bob. I will go and see that. Mm, I heard Savages recommended to me. Apparently, that's on in the theatre too. What's that called? Savages. Savages. Oh, yeah, it's about the gangs in New Zealand. A little follow up from What's a Warriors. What's Warriors, yeah. Have you seen? Mm. Oh, you, you haven't seen. Oh, it I haven't seen it. It was recommended to me. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's, yeah. it's been recommended. It's. I might go. And, I will go and see that one. Be prepared for lots of blasphemy. Beautiful. It's just really handy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Look away. We we're up for blasphemy. 
beautiful, um, beautiful artsy movie on that a friend of mine has just seen. Uh, and it's about a painter who um, painted in Venice. Uh, and that's a good movie, is it? Back in the day, yeah. I, I'll find out the title. Uh, Thank you, Dami. Put it in Expand Your Being for us. Okay, yeah. yeah. Nice haircut, Karen. Oh, thanks, Robin. Funky. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought you were talking about the puppy. Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that puppy. Is that a puppy? Bridget, how old is your little... About nine months old. Yes, he's a puppy. Yeah. Oh, my God, I hope I get to see your puppy. He destroys a lot of things. Oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> a great hairdo, Robin, for swimming. I swim in three times a week, I'm going shortly. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, great. Yeah. What kind of swimming do you do, Taryn? Over, um... At Waterworld? No, no, the fish centre here in Wanganui. Oh. I live in Wanganui, Bridget. Oh, Where do so... you live? <laughs> in Raglan. <laughs> but that was in Hamilton. Yeah, Waterworld's in Hamilton. Actually, oh, no, I'm not... I don't, I don't, not in Hamilton. Oh. So it's do you do fun. swimming lengths or what do you do? Yeah, no, I do a K every eight, three times a week. So Building what's up. a K? How many lengths is a K? 40, 40. Oh, my God, I'm training for the um, Harbour Swim in Auckland from Rangitoto to St. Oh, my yeah. goodness. Ask Karen, I'm coming up to be there and be your support. Thank you, Chrissy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the only one I haven't done. I've done all the others. Oh, so my God. I'll do that one. Hmm. Karen, wow. And you enjoying the swimming. So you go three times a week. Yeah. And how many things will you do this morning? Um, it depends how I'm feeling, how many I choose to do, but usually it's 40. And then I go and sit in the hydrotherapy pool for 20 minutes before mm. and after. And then I go in the sauna. We have a wonderful facility here. You do. God. And it's cheaper here. than putting in a bath or a sauna or a spa. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's fun too. I want to go there. I'm coming over to Whanganui again sometime. <laughs> we got too many people here now. My friend still hasn't gone to her house. <laughs> if she find her house, that would be wonderful. It would. Well, let's pull energy for it. It, Yes, let's pull energy for that as well, shall we? Yes. How is everybody? And what are you asking for this week? What would you like to achieve? What would you like to accomplish that you don't even know you want to achieve? And how many questions can you ask every day? Just keep on asking lots and lots of questions. Mm. Yeah, and. Rookaway and Chrissy, I'm heading over to the bay. Um, yes, for a foundation over there. Ooh, <laughs> la la. Now, I hope I see you, Rookaway. And I'm very like, Yes. What, what would it take? Now you got me up out of bed. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Woohoo! Um, what would it take to, um, yeah, I'll PM you because that sounds like fun, Christy. Oh, darling, would love to have you there. It's really, wow, we're just really shifting some sh shit this weekend. Of how you... Oh, girl, I want to come. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, okay, so lots of love, everybody. Thank you so much for coming on. We will do it Wednesday morning because I think that's going to be a good time. Sorry, what? Say that again. I missed that. Sorry. This Zoom will be next Wednesday morning as well, half past oh. seven, like today. Okay, rather than the evening. Rather than the evening, and we will we'll probably swap and change, but next week. Oh, Laura's didn't I didn't get you in. Sorry, sorry, Laura. <clears throat> the Zooms are really hard to get on. You want the wait? Know. You're waiting. Well, I know that's my fault because I meant to let you in. But Kimmy's going to show me how I don't have to, that, how you do, I can make it so you don't have to come into a waiting room. So we'll work on that because it's a real, I'm so sorry that Laura, we didn't, I didn't get you in. I didn't see that you were there. That's, how does it get any better than this? So I'll put the recording up, Laura, if you have a chance. Um, let me just introduce you to everybody who's here, though, before you go zooming away. So we've got Rokawai. She's in the Bay of Plenty. Hello. And we've got Bridget in Raglan. 
And we've got Chrissy in Hamilton. We've got Karen. She's in Wanganui. And we've got Crazy Kim. <laughs> Cute Kim. <laughs> She's in Wanganui. Barbie's in Gisborne. And Robin is in Dunedin. Isn't that what's amazing? And Laura is in Hamilton. So, Laura, we're just about to finish up, darling. Can you say something you'd like to ask for? Can you hear me? I can hear you, sweetheart. <laughs> I can't see on my side if you can see me and hear me. <laughs> we, I don't know what we, we can't um, see your picture, but we can hear you. Yes. Okay. Cool. Yeah, uh, just seeing your um, what you wrote at, at, at the yeah, because I just opened my Facebook now and I saw your what you said about creating, and that's yeah, that's basically that's for oh. me is to create to create today Thanks. something good <laughs> okay so would you be willing to create something bad as well <laughs> <laughs> he can't hear you but he can see you <laughs> so we're gonna um we're gonna ask well, yes go on like you said all of all of life eh? <laughs> all, yes all of life comes to us with these joy and glory and what if I think the question asked, I'm starting to speak South African accent, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> ask this question. <laughs> I find this question is a phenomenal question. What would I like to achieve today that I don't even know I want to achieve? Okay. I'll remember ask, that. Yeah, and just ask for that. What would I like to achieve today? Or what am I going to achieve today that I don't even know I'm going to achieve? And that it's amazing when I ask that question. Why would I not ask that every day? Because I always find myself doing things that I've been thinking about for ages and never got onto. You know, you're thinking of starting something or it's amazing. I'm just thinking back of all the things that I have achieved when I asked that question. What would I like to achieve today that I don't even know I want to achieve? Thank you. I will, I will remember that. Thank you, my dear. And um, right now, just let's do a quick expand for Laura and welcome to the Expand Your Being. So take your being, Laura, connect in with your body and then go out past your body right out into the universe, 100,000 Ks, 200,000 Ks in all directions so that you are a huge, infinite, acoustical being and pull energy from all the molecules in the universe and all the people and all the oceans and all the people who've recommended movies to watch. Would you like to type them into the Expand Your Being because there's some really great movies there. Um, is that okay? How do I get to the the comments? No, there are no comments. I don't oh, think there's no. I don't think there's anybody you can make a comment here. Oh, okay. you, you, oh yes. Where oh, there's a chat. You can. Oh yes, you can. Thank you. There's a chat place there, Laura. But if you go into the expand your being. The actual Facebook group. Okay, is it okay? No, that's cool. I was going to say, you because I want to write them down. <laughs> oh, okay, no, that's absolutely, Laura. And okay, cool. Thank you so much. Um, and keep flowing that energy of gratitude all over you guys. And I'm flowing energy of gratitude all over you because mm. I really like push down your walls and barriers and let's be grateful for each and every one mm. of us. Yeah. Let's contribute to each other's beauty. That'll Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. And love to see you next week. Next Wednesday morning, we'd love to have you. Thanks, Chrissy. Super. Thank you, everybody. Bye. It's just been a joy. Have fun. Thanks, Thank, Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, everyone.